it has problems. It does. That is true. But the biggest issue I had is that you pretty much couldn't accelerate whatsoever. Yeah. It yeah. Would backfire out of the car, which was not fun. And it kind of blew up in my face while we were doing the timing as well. Yeah, yeah that happened. But the biggest thing was that, and we, every time we got it on, or every time we tried to get it on video, it never happened. Yeah. Every single time. I think I got one, one thing of it. I've, I've, even, I've even tried a lot more now, and it will not do it on camera. Uh, like we have like a ton of footage of us trying and it just doesn't work but i have one footage of where it was night and you can just hear it it just popped but every time you try to like accelerate especially from a stop you try to accelerate it pop and most of, all the time like died yeah like what we found out was when we took it down to our vocational school we took that computer off of it because that's what we assumed it was and we took it apart as far as we could get it to go and the only thing we found out was that diaphragm wouldn't hold vacuum too much. And he's, he blames it on me because he says that I dropped it and I probably broke it. Yeah, those, those are very known to fail, though. Those computers are very commonly, they commonly fail. And we, like, tried, like, we don't even have a vacuum pump down there. We were just trying to suck on it, and it just wouldn't, like, hold it whatsoever. So then we, he finally ordered a kit. Which was what electronic emission? You said it's a electronic emission conversion, yeah. which is what a lot of most people use that to get rid of the computer or any like points old style ignition. All right. Well, that's the new distributor that we got in. Well, we don't have the old car plugged in because we haven't made any footage of this yet. We haven't really had time to. That's why the video has been taking so long. But. That's the distributor that comes with that kit. Yeah, comes oh. with this orange box over here. It all comes in one kit. Along with that ballast. This ballast yeah, up ballast. here. Yeah. But I guess this semi fixed it, but we still can't figure out what it could be. We could be just the wiring because someone we know likes to use wire nuts, and who else, who knows what else could be wrong with the wiring that he did. We'll check it eventually, but if we ever figure it out, we'll make a video about what was wrong. But this semi fixed it though, that's all that matters. So, to get this all working, the ballast has this purple wire here. We have hooked up to the starter relay over there, which actually, it's, it's not the greatest setup, but there is a small little diode there to keep the starter from running while the engine is running because it's literally hooked up to the relay that turns on the starter but anyways <laughs> this gives the coil a full 12 volts when you start it and this wire is connected to ignition on which also gives the box power over here it still didn't fix it. No. Like it still, it was better than what it was. You could actually at least drive it. That was the biggest. Yeah. You know. Without with the out the eh, without the diaphragm, it wouldn't uh, advance the timing at all. So it would backfire bad. So then he bought a new coil. It helped a little bit. Not too terribly better there, especially yeah. when taking off. I think he said it was better. And then we finally got a new carb. Still haven't fixed it yet. We don't know exactly what it is causing it at this point. Yeah. Uh, I've looked around online, and some people say that those conversion kits are bad out of the box. It's kind of common for that, which is amazing. So a lot of people convert it to like a Chevy style HEI ignition, which is probably what I'm going to do. Is probably what I'm going to do next, but I've got to wait to get the money for it. But until then, we've got to survive with what it is. But at least you can drive it. Yeah, and it, it is drivable. And it's the only thing that we've done ever since then is a little bit of exhaust work, which is very ghetto. Very professional setup here. With one clamp. Well, not even like much of a, like, what is that? It's called like a connector piece or something? What? These are adapters. Yeah, a little adapter it's, for it. It's a kind of a trash setup, so I can use the muffler eventually with 
three inch pipe rather than two and a half. But. Two clamps to hold it on this end, and then I got your tail pipe. Yeah, it's putting a Super 10 in in place of what was it, the little stock muffler? Uh, I wasn't stock, but it was uh, some no name. And Quiet. it definitely leaks quite a bit. We don't even have it welded, we have exhaust clamps on it, and yeah. it's a little deafening. But we'll do a whole video on. The new carb setup and what we had to do for fuel and everything else because that new carb and air cleaner he got wouldn't work with this setup we already had. So we had to go to Otters and get a couple of pieces, even though one of them happened to leak. Just and a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. And we ended up making it work. So until then.